Hello everyone, this is TJ with Robinhood Coins and today we're hunting two boxes of quarters. We just got these quarters today and it looks like one of them is a San Antonio Missions Ender. The last box that looked like that had a total of nine West Points. So hopefully this box has that as well. We're looking for West Points, we're looking for silver, uh, error coins, proofs, anything to add to our collection. And hopefully we have something really good for the Robinhood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, if you want to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is comment on the video and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. With that, let's get into these rolls. So we are all done with box number one and all we have to show for it is some really nice state quarters for the, co the girls collections. And we have a couple 09s, some errors to look for, some 10, 11, 12, 13s that will grab the best of the best just because they're low mintages. But no silver and no W's. But now it's time to get into box number two. I am pretty sure I am working on either box 12 or 13 that I have ever worked on. And this is the first time that I have found a silver quarter in the rolls. Look at that. Oh, I cannot wait to see what it is. I am so excited. Look at this right here. What is it? We got a 1939, that is an oldie. Got to love this 80 year old coin. Man, gotta love silver in the rolls. And it's so hard to find silver quarters. Rob from Rob Finds Treasure, I remember watching one of his videos where he was, he found his fourth silver quarter and he, he had stated in the video that it was his 54th box. So, it's not, it's not surprising that I'm on box 12 or 13 and barely found one. But that is awesome. First find of the hunt on the second box. Oh, this is so exciting. We are on roll 12 and I have our next find for the night. And my wife is over here pouting because I found a W. And you found a silver. Yes, I also found the silver. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that right there. I don't know what it is yet. All right, let's see it together. This is it. Hopefully it's a war in the Pacific. Come on. Yes. Yes, a war in the Pacific. My first one. That is epic. Oh, that is great. My first silver in a box in bank rolled, bank wrapped rolls and my first War of the Pacific W in the same box. That is great. And it looks like we had a couple more new ones right back here. There's American Memorial Park. No, it's just a Denver and it's a, it's a San Antonio Missions though. Oh man, we'll let you know what else we find. All right, so we're all done with box number two and this is all the stuff that we pulled out of the two boxes. First off, we have some states that we pulled out that were in nice condition. We also pulled out all the 2009s, 2010s, 2011, and 2012. However, I'm only going to keep the best of the best. So I've taken out the ones that I'm not going to keep, and this is what's left. These are the keepers. And then we also had Kansas, Minnesota, and Wisconsin coins to go through to look for the errors on those, which we'll do next. All right, so the first error we're looking for is the 2004 Philadelphia Kansas State Quarter, and we're looking for the In God We Rust error, and that's where grease got in the dye and in the T, and so the T is very faint or missing. So this is an example of a normal um, In God We Trust coin, and then I have my little helper here helping me with the scope. Hey, guys. All right, switch it out. Give him the other one. I think we found it. This is uh, pretty cool. I've been looking for this. Several, several boxes of quarters, and I think we found my first example. So here we have the In God We Rust, and as you can see, the T is almost um, non-existent. But you do see a little bit of the line right there and the top of the T, the, the left bar is more prevalent. Um, and there is some postman damage here and here, but nothing. If, if this was missing because of postman damage, there would be more 
damage around here. There'd be a lot of scarring right here. The G and the R would be really messed up. So I think this is a pretty good example of the In God We Rust uh, error. So that's really exciting. All right, so here is the 2005 Philadelphia Kansas State quarter that has the In God We Rust error so that you can see it to the at the naked eye if you will um obviously you're look watching the video hopefully i can get this to show the the t is slightly visible but very faint more faint than the r u s t and the in god we so you can kind of see it as you're hunting through but definitely for those that are uh, somewhat faded you're going to want to check it under the scope all right, so the next error that we look for is the 2004 Philadelphia, Minnesota. And there is, I don't know if it's a die crack or what, but there is extra metal right here and then sometimes right here so that it, it looks like an extra tree on the um, coin or an extra rock down here. And there's a lot of varieties of this error on a PCGS but you can you can tell by just taking a look at a normal one and then um, anything that's extra to the normal coins this is a normal one then look up pcgs.com and then see if it's one of the several error varieties we checked all five coins that i had for the minnesota philadelphia and we didn't have any of it switch over to the wisconsin my little helper is going to put in wisconsin right here and show you what we were looking for here. We didn't find the error, but, um, and I showed it on one of my previous videos, but there's an extra leaf either right here, which is the high leaf, or over this way, which is the low leaf. And it's on the 2005 Denver, Wisconsin state quarters. Uh, so looking for that. And I think that one's pretty hard to find because I asked Rob from Rob Finds Treasure and he says he hasn't found one in rolls. He has one, but didn't find it in rolls. So uh, it's going to be tough to find, but we're going to look for it anyway. My dad found this 1939 silver Philadelphia. We checked the red book and it is 33 million minted. That's right. It's not at low mintage. Obviously, the uh, D and the S of 1939 are way better. And at 80 years old, that's a pretty good keeper right there for us. We also had this uh, War in the Pacific, West Point, 2019. First one I've ever found. That is great. That really made the box worthwhile. Well, since I need the 2019 West Point War in the Pacific, as well as the 1939 Philadelphia quarters for my collection, I went to a previous hunt where we found this 1963 Denver, pulled that out for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. Gotta love the 90% silver. Also, I still have some more of the 2019 San Antonio Missions, Denver Mint, brand new out of circulation, grabbed them when we had those brand new boxes, saved them so that I can give them away to you viewers. As always, to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is comment on the video, and we'll use a random comment picker to pick the winner. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any videos or giveaways and share it with others to help the channel grow so we can do more giveaways and with that we will see you on the next hunt